Let's go to ComSec. Tom Petrovsky joins us live. Good morning, Tom. How do we start today? Uh, Pete, we're going to take a little bit of a knock when we kick off later on this morning. The futures are telling us that we'll be down by about a third of a percent. So we're coming off the heels of what was a fairly constructive day yesterday with the ASX 200 up by a little over a percent. It's interesting to note that over the course of this year, we've only seen several occasions where the ASX 200 has been able to gain a percent on any given day. So uh, that'll be um, put to the test today because uh, we have got the monthly inflation numbers, the February inflation numbers out uh, today. So that will be arguably the most important determinant of what the RBA does next week when they decide on interest rates. We saw some softer uh, retail sales numbers yesterday, Pete. So it's a bit of a balancing item. So you'd think anywhere above seven would probably be uh, ticking the column for a quarter of a percent hike. Below 7% in terms of the annualised uh, or the monthly figure, um, that changes the calculation a little bit. But uh, having said all that, uh, US markets are down by about a third to three quarters of a percent at the moment. Uh, we are still seeing uh, the oil price, uh, importantly, hold on to the gains that it patched together in the previous session, up in the order of around uh, f uh, 5% in the previous day. So that's why mining and energy stocks continue to do quite well where US and European trade was concerned last night. Um, European markets were uh, modest in terms of their improvements. Uh, uh, the French market up by around 0.1% of a percent. Uh, the German DAX up 09 and the FTSE was just in positive territory. Okay, Tom, thank you. Well